Hello world! Quantum computing has always carried an air of mystery, but Microsoft's foray into that domain pushes the intrigue to another level. Anyone who has followed their research likely recalls hush-hush reports, occasional leaks, and a few awkward moments when their data looked shaky. Now the company has brought a physical prototype named Majorana 1 out from the shadows, setting the stage for a different kind of computer conversation. I remember the first time I heard about Majorana fermions. It felt like uh, discussing ghost particles. They were hypothesized back in the 1930s, but stayed elusive for decades. Some wondered if these creatures even existed at all, or if they were simply theoretical oddities doomed to remain in high-level journals. Microsoft's station Q team pinned their hopes on these phantom-like entities, believing they could stabilize quantum data in a way no other approach could manage. It was a lengthy gamble, yet the folks there stuck with it, even when competitors like IBM and Google showed off steadily growing qubit counts. Those bigger qubit numbers, though impressive, often run headfirst into noise issues. From Microsoft's standpoint, it wasn't enough just to boost the raw tally of qubits. They wanted to harness them in a form that naturally resists errors. Let's jump back about 20 years. Station Q gathered a band of theoretical physicists, experimental wizards, and software architects, all convinced they could coax Majorana fermions into the real world. Initial experiments gave glimmers of success, but nothing that would pass muster under rigorous scrutiny. Then came the infamous paper in 2018 that suggested they had nailed it. Before you could blink, it was retracted, prompting a wave of eye rolls among skeptics. Plenty Plenty of onlookers assumed Microsoft might drop the project or pivot to more standard quantum tech. Instead, they refined their approach, they calibrated devices, fiddled with exotic materials, and repeated experiments under new conditions. That persistence paid off. Fresh measurements surfaced, hinting strongly that the Majorana signposts were real this time around. Researchers in the community remained guarded but intrigued. A few said, let's see how this holds up once they built an actual machine. Enter Majorana 1. The device, at first glance, won't strike anyone as monstrous. It's a small chip intended to live in a super cold enclosure. That might sound mundane, but the promise behind it is anything but. If these topological qubits behave as predicted, they could shrug off many of the pesky disturbances that plague other systems. Traditional approaches often need stacks of error connection routines. With topological qubits, you might skip a big chunk of that overhead. One detail that gets repeated, though with varying degrees of confidence, is that Majorana 1's architecture could lead to a million function qubits on one chip. A million! That number has been tossed around for some time as the threshold for tackling massive computations like molecular simulations or advanced cryptanalysis. Companies worldwide have tried to edge closer, but the notion of jumping straight to that levy sounds outlandish. Skeptics insist there is a sizable engineering marathon ahead. Ask any quantum researcher about topological systems and you will probably get a smirk or a raised eyebrow. It's certainly an area with potential, but it also had its share of controversies. Even now, a fraction of the scientific crowd demands bulletproof results in peer-reviewed journals before they will accept that Majorana 1 is the real deal. Another faction is eager to see a demonstration on the hardware, something that definitely proves error rates remain astonishingly low. But this tension is actually fueling excitement. Rival labs want to see if Microsoft can deploy a small array of these qubits for computations that are otherwise tough for classical machines. If that demonstration succeeds, the entire quantum race might spin on its axis. On the flip side, if issues emerge again and the data doesn't stand up to scrutiny, well, you can imagine the reaction. But wait, wait. Assuming Majorana 1 delivers, quantum computing enthusiasts foresee plenty of applications. One that keeps surfacing is drug development. Picture a system that can simulate proteins, 
complex molecules or chemical reactions so precisely that tedious lab trials become fast and cheaper to design. Another widely cited area involves material science, testing new superconductors, better batteries or novel alloys without having to do guesswork in a real-world lab. It's not simply about acceleration, it's about exploring configurations that classical supercomputers can't handle in any reasonable time frame. Meanwhile, folks working on artificial intelligence also perk up whenever quantum hardware enters the chat. There is speculation that certain optimization tasks in machine learning might get a radical speed boost if they're offloaded to qubits, though that remains theoretical in many respects. And then there is encryption. Once you have a quantum rig with enough oomph, classic RCA keys can be broken far faster than classical hardware would manage. That's why governments and security experts worldwide have started adopting the so-called quantum resistant protocols. If Microsoft's system matures rapidly, it might accelerate that timeline. A Microsoft competitor, IBM, has its superconducting chips and a track record of publishing updates about each new iteration. So has Google, which created a huge buzz a few years ago with claims of supremacy on a specialized task. Meanwhile, IonQ tried an iron trap architecture that's quite different from standard superconducting qubits. There are also smaller outfits scattered across the globe, each chasing qubit stability by a different route. Microsoft's entry, in contrast, spent ages in the lab without a real public unveiling up until now. By swinging for the fences with topological qubits, uh, they either catch a lucky break and leap forward or end up chasing the same incremental gains as their rivals. A few cynics suggest the companies just hopped in with big marketing toll but hasn't demonstrated a machine that can beat or even match the best out there in practical tests. Others say that if even half of the topological theory checks out, Microsoft's leap might leave everyone else scrumbling to catch up. Majorana 1 by itself isn't a silver bullet. It's an early step in a technology that demands extremely precise conditions. The hardware must remain chilled, materials have to be grown just right, Control systems which handle signals need to scale from a handful of qubits to potential tens of thousands, then maybe hundreds of thousands. That alone is a complex engineering puzzle. Still, the buzz is here and it's hard to deny the allure. There is a distant vision of hooking these qubits into Microsoft Azure Cloud services, handling developers a quantum option that is as easy to rent as any virtual server. Even if that's years away, the possibility has people dreaming about quantum plus classical plus AI on a single platform. That triad might transform computing in ways we are only beginning to imagine. And if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to check out this one next. Oh, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in a bite.